I love doing these candle reactions. Being able to get a new candle is like getting new money. What's up, beauties and cuties? Welcome back to another video. It's fall season. I got my flannel on. I am prepared. Summer can go. Fall can come in. I'm so excited about this video because we're doing a small haul today on your girl's favorite candles, Bath and Body Works. Listen, if you are new, my name is Zelda Nadine. Let me stop rambling so you know who I am. Hey you, hope you stay to the end of this video. And for my oldies but goodies, what's happening? Y'all know what it is, it's Beauties and Cuties gang all day. If you're interested to know what I got at the candle sale, cause there was a candle sale and you know your girl was there. Let's get into this video. This is gonna be a part one of two because I have more candles coming. Fall is a long time, okay? I have to have scents for the full fall season. So let's get into the first candle. So the first candle I got is a new one for me. This is Pumpkin Clove, okay? Now their packaging this year is super cute. Too. The little copper penny look is really really cute it's like it's been hammered it's, i'm loving these candle lids has um nice leaves on the outside it's orange in color and it has like you, when you feel it you can feel a texture as if it is leaves the scent notes are clove buds ground cinnamon a pinch of nutmeg fresh pumpkin and of course your scent, your natural essential oils so now guys, this is really my first time smelling this. So you gonna get my first reaction. It's like a reaction video for your nose. Oh, honestly, this smells really, really good. The lady, when I asked her for something new, I said, I don't like anything spicy, uber spicy, but I have to feel like it's fall. This is a good candle. It says, like it says it has cinnamon you can get that hint of cinnamon off top but it has a really sweet top note you know what i mean so this is something that you can honestly start burning in your kitchen if you like sweet scents in your kitchen this is something that you have like right now i have um pumpkin pea can waffle which i love it's a signature i have to have it in my kitchen every fall but this is like a good second option to have you can definitely smell the pumpkin in it but those that clove and that cinnamon does hit nice in the nose if you're a person that likes um uh, i would say allspice you know allspice 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 no anise the star scent right the star seasoning that's what that smells like. The star knees, that's what it is. I almost think of Old Spice, like the Old Spice commercial. All Spice or star knees. If you like that, you should pick this up. And it has a little bit of a maple leaf smell. So pick up pumpkin clove. The next candle that I picked up is pumpkin apple, which it was interesting because when I picked it up, I was like, pumpkin and apple, how is that gonna smell? I mean, I know Starbucks got that new apple crisp latte thing going on, but which is kind of sketchy, but I'm gonna try that too. But pumpkin apple, I don't know. This states that it has red delicious apple, fall pumpkin, fresh ground cinnamon, cloves buds with essential oils. Now, I will say, all first glance, I would think is like warm apple, warm apple cider that's what i'm thinking off the ingredients but it's pumpkin so let me see oh ooh. oh yes okay i don't smell no pumpkin in this but this smells like apple it reminds me of the apple jolly rancher <laughs> If you like apple jelly ranches, you know what I'm talking about. That good, you put it in your mouth and it do like that. That, that first, that's what this smell like. That, okay. Look, off first sniff, if you like apple jolly ranchers, you will like pumpkin apple. Bath and Body Works, I need you to keep this. 
for me. You know what? You don't have to keep it bad with my works. You know what? I'm just gonna buy two or three of these because guess what? This right here is gonna bring my nostrils joy. And they did the right thing by getting it, by making this. They did the right thing. Thank you, Bath and Body Works, for giving me joy in my nostrils. The next scent that I picked up is called Cranberry Woods. And it has the same packaging as pumpkin clove with the leaves and that texture on the outside with the copper top, but it's red. It states that it is tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, golden amber, and essential oils. Now, I don't know what golden amber smells like. Because I've never smelled a golden amber, but I bet you it's going to be delicious because Bath and Body Works has delicious candles. Nevertheless, let's pop it open. Oh, it smells like Martinelli's sparkling cranberry, like the cran sparkling cider. The sparkling cranberry. That's what this smells like. If you've ever tasted that for Christmas time, that's what this this smells like. I, I'm going to get two of these too. I'm probably going to burn one for the Christmas holiday for Bath and Body Works. Let me ask y'all. Are y'all going to have this for Christmas time? This is amazing. And it has like a, a pine hint. On the undertone, is that the golden amber? Sweater weather. I've been getting sweater weather for years since it's been out at Bath and Body Works. I don't care if I bought any other candle. Sweater weather has to be in my house for fall and the winter time, period. Cozy. In a candle. That's all I have to say. I know what this smells like, but we're gonna pop it open anyway to be able to give you my thoughts. Because for those who have never had sweater weather, guess what? It's amazing. I am now the spokesman for sweater weather. So, with sweater weather candle this year, I like the decor. I picked it up because of the copper color. Sweater weather is showing some mountains in the packaging. You can see it, it's showing mountains, has this copper uh, stripe coming through like lightning, which is really, really nice, really cute packaging. And it's just a regular black Bath and Body Works top. And the notes for sweater weather is fresh sage, Jupiter berry, and let me say the word right, is juniper. Aromatic eucalyptus, fresh woods, and essential oils. Sniff. See, if we had smell vision you will understand the aroma of sweater weather. It's like a man giving you a hug. If you burn this candle right here with a nice glass of wine and a blanket, baby, close your eyes, you like somebody's hugging me right now. This is what sweater weather is about. It just has that juniper berry and those woodsy smells. That way. So if you're looking for a musky candle, pick up Sweater Weather, okay? It's worth it. Before I give you these last two candles, if you're enjoying this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. Like, subscribe, leave a comment of any candles that you may have picked up at Bath & Body Works for the fall season, cause I'm willing to pick it up. Let me know if you like Bath and Body Works just like, just as I do. Candle, last but not least, my next candle that I picked up is flannel. Now, I started getting flannel like two years ago, okay? And flannel is my close second to sweater weather. Flannel has a beautiful blue with the leaves on the outside, the gorgeous decor here, and the copper, copper top. 
And the notes are fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, soft musk, and essential oils. Just give me a second. And I'm not even trying to be funny. If you like musk with a sweet undertone, different than sweater weather, this, again, that manly smell, that cologne smell, it smells like, what the odorant is that? It smells like um, degrees cool. Is it cool, miss? It's the one, the, it's the blue one that says cool on it. That's what this smells like. I know it's weird, but it smells exactly like men's degree a little bit. The cool, uh, the cool scent. <laughs> if you don't get any of the candles that I'm telling you right now, get these two, for real. I'd simultaneously burn them. Like I burn flannel in one room and then burn sweater weather in another and it marries together and baby, you think that you in a room full of GQ models. You about to be on the runway at Fashion Week for men. That's exactly what that smells like when you burn both of them. Now my final candle that I picked up is a new one. Called Open Sky, gray with that copper, copper dots around it. I'm trying to look at it while I'm showing you guys copper dots in the copper top. I was intrigued by the packaging. The light was hitting it nice like a shiny new penny and I was loving it. So it states that it has fresh air, wild berries, soft violet, cloud of comfort and a cloud of comforting vanilla with essential oils now i just want to say first i don't know what fresh air smells like no i lie i do know what fresh air smells like you get out in the morning walk out breathe it in on a cool day okay they they must have captured fresh air but a cloud of comforting vanilla i've never smelled the cloud of comforting vanilla vanilla but i'm gonna smell this and i'm hoping to smell a cloud of comforting vanilla they was right. This is heavenly. A cloud of comfort in vanilla. I don't smell the vanilla per se until I burn it, but it is comforting. This candle is gorgeous. If I could, if I could put a word to it, stunning, beautiful. It just smells really pretty. I've had one candle from Bath and Body Works that was very pretty, and that was Frozen Lake is right next to frozen lake guys pick you up open sky like this is gorgeous i'm about to burn this now okay beauties that is it for this video none of these are duds none of these are duds and i'm telling you get your hands on these fall scents if you stay to the end of this video thank you so so much comment below about what you would pick up at Bath and Body Works this fall season so I could be able to pick it up too. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you do not miss out on any other videos that are to come. See you at the next video. Bye.